Meet the female anchors of Fox News. Since the 1990s, Fox News has been on the air, and over time, the network has put together a large team of journalists to run its news department. In 2022, the network's primetime ratings were the highest they'd ever been since it began. This helped the value of Fox stocks reach new heights. Fox's female anchors stand out as some of the most unique leaders on the network. From lawyers like Laura Ingram to doctors like Dr. Nicole Safier. These are the current and former female anchors who helped build the Fox Corporation from the ground up into a thriving conglomerate. Uma Pemiraju, value $4 million, seen on Fox News. Uma Pemiraju was born in India and grew up in San Antonio, Texas. She has her own show on Fox News called Pemiraju. She started out on local news stations in Dallas and Baltimore. She won an Emmy for her work in Baltimore. Then, executives and producers at Fox hired her to be part of the network's first team when it began in 1996. Pemiraju's knowledge quickly made the news division more valuable in the eyes of shareholders. This put the company on a promising path to market success. The anchor was talked to a lot of famous people and newsmakers, such as Buzz Aldrin, the Dalai Lama, Carly Simon, Whoopi Goldberg, and a lot of politicians. She won the Matrix Award from Women in Communications. The Big Sisters Organization of America called her the Woman of Achievement because of her impact as a female reporter. Holly McKay, value $500,000. Fox News reported it. Holly McKay, a journalist for Fox News, was born in Queensland. In 2006, she moved to New York City to go to Pace University. She did an internship at Fox during her last semester of college. On the channel's website, she wrote a column called Pop-Tarts about events and show business. But Holly changed direction when she became an investigative reporter and a foreign correspondent. She's reported from Iraqi battlegrounds and from Ferguson, Missouri, where there were protests. She's known for her thorough reporting, which is shown by the many good comments on her Microsoft-owned LinkedIn page. McKay was hired by Infinity Ward to help with the making of Call of Duty Modern Warfare as a cultural and human rights consultant. McKay used her past work as a reporter to help come up with ideas for stories and features. She also helped make their materials for international promotion. People have said that the game feels real, which is mostly due to McKay's skills. Jillian Mele, net worth $900,000, seen on Fox & Friends. Jillian Mele was born and raised in Pennsylvania. She went to LaSalle University and got a BA in communication. She got her start in journalism when a station in Maine asked her to be a sports anchor. She then went to work for NBC in Philadelphia and co-hosted a show on the NBC Sports Channel, which was owned by Comcast. Mele has won a lot of awards. She won an Emmy for her work at NBC10 in Philadelphia, where she was the first person to start a show about the Olympics. That Emmy Award helped her get a job in sports broadcasting in Philadelphia, where she worked after moving from New York. Mele co-hosts Fox & Friends, which is one of Fox's most profitable and advertiser-friendly shows. The show's huge ratings have always been a big selling point for CEOs who want to raise the value of their company in the market. Ainsley Earhart is an actress. Seen on Fox & Friends, net worth $6 million. Ainsley Earhart, who works for Fox News, is a co-host on the show Fox & Friends. She was born in South Carolina, and she went to college at both USC and FSU. Before she graduated from USC, she was hired by a CBS station in South Carolina. She then moved to Texas and went on a CBS station there that was owned by Viacom. Roger Ailes hired her to work at Fox News when she moved to New York, even though she didn't know anything about politics or world news. She was able to get her own show, Fox & Friends has also had her own segment on Sean Hannity's show. People Magazine says that Earhart and Sean Hannity, who also works for Fox News, have been dating quietly for years. Earhart was married to Kevin McKinney and then Will Proctor, a former Clemson University quarterback. She's kept her relationship with Hannity under the radar. It wasn't known until June 2020. Molly Lines, value $2.5 million, as seen on Fox News. Fox News has Molly Lines start working there in 2006. She lives in Boston, but she was born in West Virginia and grew up there. Line was a host and reporter for WXXA, Channel 23. She worked for the New York Channel from 2000 to 2002. This was just one year after she started her journalism career as a reporter and photographer for WDTV in Bridgeport, West Virginia. 
Lyon would later move to WFXT and start covering big stories there. She went to school at Virginia Tech and worked for a local TV station in Boston called WFXT before joining the big network. She wrote about the sentencing of Richard Reed and the fire at the station nightclub while she was there. Molly also worked as a news anchor for a short time in Albany. When she started working for Fox, she reported live on some shocking news stories, like what happened at Sandy Hook and the arrest of Neil Entwistle. Megyn Kelly, worth $45 million. America Live and America's Newsroom both showed her. Megyn Kelly is a journalist and news anchor who used to defend corporations. She worked for Fox News on the popular show The Kelly File. She was one of Fox's best-liked anchors and is thought to be one of the most powerful people in the media. Before she had her own network show, she was the host of America Live and America's Newsroom. She left Fox in 2017 and went to NBC, where she had her show, Megyn Kelly Today, until it was canceled a year later. She left NBC in January 2019, and she hasn't said what she's doing next, but she has said she'll be back in the newsroom. It's not clear when Kelly will be back on TV, but she will definitely be hosting a podcast called The Megyn Kelly Show. Devil May Care Media, a company she started, is streaming the podcast. The first episode of the podcast will come out in the last week of September. Julie Banderas, $12 million. Red Eye and Fox Report with Shepard Smith both showed her. Julie Banderas is a Fox News anchor. She was born in Connecticut and she went to college at Emerson. She replaced Lori Dew as the host of Fox Report Weekend in 2008. Before that, she worked at ABC and CBS affiliate stations. She was in charge of the show until she decided she wanted to be an anchor during the week. She works as a fill-in anchor for different Fox News shows from Monday to Friday. John Scott took over for her on the weekends. Both she and her husband are on the board of directors for the charity Habitat for Humanity. Big Apple Channel and Old Rock Media were also started by them. Andre Sansone is the man Banderas is married to. Banderas said that Sansone asked her to marry him with a message in a bottle while they were digging for clams on Long Island. Banderas told everyone on September 21, 2008, in America's election headquarters, that she was getting married in August of 2009. They got married in New York City. Janine Pirro, $12 million, Justice with Janine. Janine Pirro used to be a judge and a prosecutor. She's the host of the Fox News show Justice with Janine. Since 2011, Pirro has been in charge of the show. Before she moved to Fox, Pirro was on NBC News and The Today Show, both on NBC. The former judge went to the University of Buffalo for her undergrad degree and to Albany Law School for her law degree. Albert Pirro was also a lawyer and she was married to Pirro. Pirro has also written several books about her views, which have been published. Pirro is known for being the first woman to be elected as a judge in Westchester County, New York. Pirro has a business as well. She's on the board of directors of Heavenly RX, a company that makes CBD products from cannabis. Pirro said she became interested in the business after hearing how much other people like them. At first, she wasn't sure about CBD, but later she changed her mind. Martha McCallum, value $8 million. The story with Martha McCallum showed it. She was born in Buffalo, New York, and now works for the Fox News Network. Her show, The Story with Martha McCallum, has often played interviews which have been shown on other networks and shows. She used to work for Wall Street Journal, but then she went to work for NBC. Then she made a show called Inside the Business, which ran for a short time on CNBC. She started working on Fox in 2004, and she covered four presidential elections as a correspondent. She became the host of the Fox show The First 100 Days. The Women in Journalism organization gave her the Gracie Award twice. This is an annual award given by the Women in Media Foundation. She's also won the Soldier Socks Committed to Serve Award. McCallum has been with her husband, Dan Gregory, since 1992. Together, they have three kids and live in New Jersey. Maria Bartiromo, $50 million, seen on Sunday Morning Futures with Maria Bartiromo. Maria Bartiromo was born in Brooklyn, and her shows, Morning with Maria and Maria Bartiromo's Wall Street, made her famous at first. Her parents came from Italy, and she and her family lived at Bay Ridge while she was growing up. Her dad ran a restaurant in Brooklyn called The Rex Manor, where her mom worked as a hostess. Bartiromo's mother also worked as a clerk in an off-track betting parlor, which is a common type of business in New York. 
she was the first reporter to ever do a live broadcast from the New York Stock Exchange floor. She's in charge of global markets for the Fox Business Network. She's also the host of Sunday Morning Futures, a financial show where she talks about politics and the economy. She worked for CNN for five years, and then she worked for CNBC for 20 years. In 2013, she started working for Fox Business. She went to New York University and got a degree there. Journalism was, of course, her major.